Good happy Friday evening. I'm Riley King and welcome to the Riley King Newscast. Right here on the Riley King Network is November 19, 2021. Let's begin right now. First step, Kyle Rittenhouse acquitted on all charges. A Wisconsin jury has acquitted Kyle Rittenhouse on all charges in the killing of two men and the wounding of another during political unrest in Croatia last summer. A politically charged trial that capitated the nation and some fear empowers vigilantism. The 18-year-old fell over after hearing the verdict. The jury deliberated roughly 26 hours. And we can tell you that, um, he was acquitted and not guilty into the shooting. House Democrats pass sweeping social spending climate policy bill. After months of wrangling, House Democrats managed a big win Friday, passing their roughly $1.75 trillion social and climate spending package, despite a Republican effort to delay the final vote. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi wearing white announced the passage of President Joe Biden's Build Back Better Act, with the vote falling largely along party lines at 220 to 213. As the count crossed the threshold to pass, Democrats on the floor applaud and chanted, Build Back Better and Nancy Nancy. Biden gets first physical as president. Power transferred to Vice President Harris. It was questioned that plunge Joe Biden's presidential campaign. Could a 77-year-old man who at age 78 would be the oldest person ever to assume the presidency handle the rigorous of the job. And today, he had his first physical appointment today. And during his physical appointment, the transfer of power switched briefly and Vice President Kamala was the president briefly when he went to his physical. CDC director signs off on Pfizer Moderna boosters for all adults. The Center for Disease Control and Prevention gave the final sign-off Friday for everyone 18 and older to get a Pfizer or Moderna booster if they're at least six months past their final shot, teeing up many Americans to gain an extra protection ahead of a possible winter surge in cases. And... Now we're going to switch gears and let's take a look at your weather across the United States for this evening. In Boston, it'll be 31 degrees. New York City, 34 degrees. Washington, D.C., 30 degrees. 
Atlantis, 37 degrees. Jacksonville, Florida, 59 degrees. Tampa Bay, Florida, 68 degrees. And Miami, Florida, 73 degrees. Dallas, Texas, 46 degrees. Phoenix, 54 degrees. Los Angeles, 52 degrees. And Las Vegas, 50 degrees. And San Francisco, 51 degrees. That is a look at the weather across the United States for this evening. And that is it for this evening edition of the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Thank you for tuning in and watching. Good night and goodbye, everyone.